Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Void, I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be giving my first impressions on the anime for Azure Lane. Now I'm sure you're wondering what Azure Lane is. Well, it's a mobile game based on ships being waifus. You want your ship to be a big titty mate? You got that. You want your ship to be a subject of a religion? You also got that. Somehow. But yes, at its core, it's a gotcha game. So you gotta get your waifus and all that. Every single ship is a female, which is accurate because, well, all vessels are referred to as female, so them being male would be the weird thing. And now it has an anime, and the first episode is basically the prelude to war. Long ago, humanity was attacked by these interdimensional or alien creatures called the Sirens. To counteract this, humans made... I, I don't know what the ships classify as. I'm just going to call them ships, but I don't know if they're organic or not. But they made these ships who are people to attack the Sirens back. And they made four major factions. There are a few other factions, but like the four major ones were Eagle Union, Royal Navy, Iron Blood, and the Soccer Empire. And all together they were called the Azure Lane. They fought back the Sirens and won, but as time passed, there was a schism between the four factions, and they split into two. One still being Azure Lane, the Eagle Union, and Royal Navy, and the Iron Bloods and the Soccer Empire became the Red Axis, because all they're missing are the Italians! But yes, the first episode mainly focuses on the first attack from the Red Axis onto the Azure Lane. And from there, it's just gonna be the war. So as a start to the war story, I kind of like it. It shows, like, the moment of peace before it happens. And nothing really heavy happens in this episode. No one dies. But you kind of get the feeling, it's like, yeah, this is probably gonna be serious as we get further on. Because they're obviously ne not going to kill anyone in the first episode. <laughs> you want to keep the waifu safe. But still, I felt it was a pretty good start to a war story. The animation was definitely on point. It, they were very good action scenes. And they, I liked how they justified why they carry around heavy artillery. They don't always do that. They come from the ships. Like, they, the people are separate from the vessels. It's interesting. <laughs> there was also almost zero fan service. I say almost, but almost zero fan service in the first episode, which kind of shocked me. <laughs> like, I was damn surprised that there was almost no fan service. It's like, outside of the outfits, which are just straight from the game, there was nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That was the one thing I thought I could guarantee going into this. <laughs> that there would be so much fan service, even if it was a more serious story that followed the actual game story. I thought it was going to be very fan servicey. I assume that'll be more so later on, because again, the outfits are very fan servicey by themselves. Fan service situations have to happen. But all in all, I look forward to watching more of Azure Lane the Animation. So, have you checked it out yet? What do you think about it? Leave a comment down below. And before I sign off, I want to let you know that if you are interested in webcomics, digital art, and cosplay, you should check out my buddies at creativeattribute.com. And if you want to buy anything from the store, anything at all, use coupon code VOID for 10% off of any purchase. Link and all that stuff is in the description below. And as always, if you want to see more from me, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to so upload for me. And please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description also below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time in the void. Later.